Okay, now we're going to be talking about the Poisson distribution. We have an example in the book. It is actually 5.32 that we'll be talking about in this video. It is a cookie problem, and it doesn't tell us that there is a Poisson distribution in play here. It just simply says that there's a manager inspecting a batch of chocolate chip cookies. And it says we're assuming that a mean number of chip parts per cookie is 6.0. See right here, mean number of chip parts per cookie is 6.0. Now this per cookie element right here is interesting because in class we use the example of time as an area of opportunity. So how many people walked into a bank during lunch hour? We can count how many people that happened during an hour. How many people went to a ride in Disneyland during a period of time? That's an hour is our area of opportunity. In this example, our area of opportunity is a unit of measure that's kind of strange. It's per cookie. So now our Poisson distribution, which requires lambda, we've got lambda is equal to 6.0. And it's good to remember that that's 6.0 chip parts per cookie. And so now that we've defined our Poisson distribution, which is we need to have an average rate for a specific area of opportunity, now that we've got that we can compute probabilities. And so then the next statement says, what is the probability that in any particular cookie, and this is important because this area of opportunity that's mentioned in the probability needs to be the same area of opportunity that's mentioned when we talk about lambda. And so since lambda refers to a single cookie as an area of opportunity, then the probability is okay because it also references a particular or a single cookie. So in the example of time, if we've defined our mean to be number of customers per hour, but then we ask for probabilities for number of customers per day, we're going to have to modify our original statement to refer to it as per day if we're looking at probabilities of customers per day. So basically all I'm trying to say is our statement of the average number of events has to use the same size of area of opportunity as in our probability statement. So in this case it's okay because they're the same. So part A, let's do part A. Fewer than five chip parts will be found. If I'm writing that out that's really asking what's the probability that X is strictly less than five. That's the probability that I'm trying to solve here. So I'm going to go to mini tab and compute that probability. Fewer than five chip parts in a particular cookie. All right, so here's mini tab, and I'm going to use the graph menu to go to probability distribution plot. And since I'm looking at a range of probabilities, in other words, x less than five, I want to view probabilities in a tail, so I don't have to add them up by hand choose Poisson from the list of distributions. Our mean is 6.0 chip parts per cookie. We're going to go to shaded area and since we're talking about probability that X is less than a certain value we need to make sure that X is selected and it's less than so less than is on the left side so left tail. Now already I've got the number four in here. You might think you want to use number five, but remember mini tab includes the number that you put into this box when it computes the probability. And so since the probability was strictly less than five, we need to make sure that we don't include that five in our probability computation. So we need to go back to mini tab. We need to make sure this is a four. Okay, now I'm going to hit OK. And you'll notice in our distribution plot, it does count the probability for x equals 4 and everything less. And so 5 
is not being counted. So that's the correct approach. That's the correct value. 0 0.2851. Now we could also compute this probability with more decimal places, with more accuracy. If we go to calc, probability distributions, choose Poisson. You notice that we're adding up probabilities from the left to the right, which is cumulative probabilities. And so when we go to the Poisson distribution, we want to make sure we've chosen cumulative probabilities. Next, we need to include the mean, which was lambda, 6.0 chip parts per cookie. And our constant, the same rule is followed here. We want to include 4, but not 5 as the input constant. So we're going to push OK. And you'll notice that the probability generated by the calculator has more decimal places, but it is the same as when we used the chart. And you'll notice that it does specifically say x less than or equal to the value that we entered in. So there's part A. Let's look at part B now. All right, so part B says exactly five chip parts. This one will be easy because we can just hold our mouse over the graph. Exactly five chip parts. It says probability that x equals five is a specific value, but uh, we're going to look at the graph again. So go back to the graph of the Poisson distribution. Now if I'm going to graph menu, it's right here. Now I go to view probability. Our Poisson distribution is still in the box. We're going to put 5 in for both values of x. And we get the probability that x equals 5. Okay. So there's our Poisson distribution, part B, 0 0.1606. Okay. Next is part C. It says five or more chip parts. What's the probability that five or more chip parts will be found in a cookie? And so that one we're really looking at for part C. We're looking at probability that X is greater than or equal to five. So we're going to want to include the 5. So minimize this. Go back to the same dialog box as before from our graph menu. We're reviewing probability. And we go to the shaded area. And in this case, since it's greater than or equal to 5, then it's on the right tail. And we include the 5 as part of the calculation since it's greater than or equal to 5. So I push OK. And it gives me probability x greater than or equal to 5. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. Now it's important to note if you're going to use the calculator option, calc, probability distributions, and Poisson, the cumulative probability will give me left tail probabilities. Okay, so this gives me left tail probabilities, not right tail probabilities, which is what the question asks. And so I'm going to have to for I'm 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 going to have to use the probability from before of x less than or equal to four to compute this. Okay, and so I get 0 0.285057. This probability is the complement of the probability that's found in this chart. So four and less is given here and five and more is given here so if I want to compute this I wouldn't even need the chart I could just take one minus this value to get the right probability here okay and I believe the last one is either four or five chip parts will be found so this is a complex probability but really we're looking at a range of values if I'm just going to go to mini tab to solve this one then so in Minitab, to compute that probability, we're going to go to Graph, Distribution Plot, View Probability. Our shaded area 
is going to be middle shaded area. And here I'm going to have 4 and 5 as the x values. And that should give me the probability of getting 4 or 5 chip parts in a random cookie.